guest is one of the stars of Glee and also a New York Times best-selling author. Please welcome the very talented Chris Colfer. You just went to Coachella. I did. Had yes. you done that before? No, it was my first time. I survived. Thank goodness. Is it is it wild? It is crazy. And and I was I was really nervous to go because I really don't like crowds because crowds. Do you know what Coachella Who is? Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Music festival. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a trip. It's a trip. But there's lots of crowds, so I was very nervous about going. Um, because you don't like crowds. Well, yeah, and, and usually, you know, you know, even though people talk a big game, there's always, you know, that one Glee fan in every crowd that, you know, <laughs> that likes to surround you. And uh, I, but luckily, everyone is uh, having their own um, experience there. <laughs> so when someone like me walks by, they they just assume they're hallucinating. I see. So that's nice. Is it really? Really? People are, yeah. are in their own... Well, I've seen, like, some video. I think the guy trying to put a sandal on was from Coachella, right? Oh, really? Yeah. Have nice. you seen that video? No, no. Uh, the guy putting a sandal on? No. no. Oh, Chris, you have it's to see... It's not me, is it? Uh, we... <laughs> I don't think so, but you, I, I will show it to you. Oh, we'll, please. We'll bring it up in a second. Cool, cool. You want to show it now? No. All right. All right. We'll bring it up, and I'll show you. So... While, while we look for that, or we'll bump out with it or something, while we look for that, um, you are an actor, you are a singer, you are a writer, you, uh, did you direct that movie also that you no, were here for? No, just, just wrote yeah. it, yeah. And, and the, the author, what's left for you now? Well, I'm really, I'm really glad that you asked because I'm actually secretly campaigning to uh, be on Finding Dory, so... Oh, would you like that, to be in that? Yes. Right. Okay. In, in, because Finding Nemo is one of my favorite Disney slash movies ever. So, uh, in the first one, when Dory wakes up from the nap, she says, oh, that sea monkey owes me money. Mm -hmm. I'd really like to be the sea monkey that owes her money. So, on her journey, she runs into the sea monkey and says... And, and says, hey, you owe me money. Give it up. Yeah. All right. Do you already know your voice of the sea monkey, what you'd sound like? Well, I, I, yeah. I Just, you know, here's your money. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I can do any accent, okay. yeah, you know, so. I, I like just here's your money. Great, yeah. great. Let me talk to them about that please, and please. see if I can get you in. And, and, and they don't have to pay me. I mean, I'll come in and, and do it. I, I, would, I would do anything, so. All right. Seriously, I'm going to talk to somebody and see if great. I can get you in the movie. Great, great. All My right. agents are going to kill me for saying that. Yeah. But, but no, I would, I would love to. No, we yeah. have it on tape. You're not getting paid. Oh, great. Yeah. Cool. That's great. <laughs> That's how we do it. Yeah, great, great. Um, and we have to bring up, before we show the clip, we have to bring up uh, your cat, Brian. Mm. Your cat, Brian, when you were here last time, showed us a picture. He was a little overweight, right? Yes, he was. Is he still overweight? He, he yes, unfortunately. He's actually even more overweight now. Um, Why? He, oh, well, well, he, um, oh, there he is. Oh, that's his glamour pose. <laughs> yeah. But uh, well, the last time you, you gave me that huge basket of, of all the gifts, um, right. and thank God, because uh, he actually just got ringworm. So oh. he had to be quarantined in my guest room for, for like five weeks. So um, yeah, so he had lots of, yeah. Oh, there he is. His, in his, uh, his Ellen gear, yeah. So, <laughs> he's got the sweatbands on, sweatband, he's ready. All that. <laughs> yeah, he, but he's yeah. Lo he's looking fit. Well, he was. He, he's gained about 10 pounds since then, because he's not used to running around like he used to. I got him a, a little toy. Oh, great. It'll keep him busy, occupied, and uh, entertained at the same time. So oh, what is that? It's a, scra <laughs> it's a scratching pad, and when he, when he scratches it, so you just... Can... step on it? Yeah, he can... Oh, step on it. Yeah, so when he does that... Oh! Oh, you've broken it. Oh, no. You know how expensive this was? I'm not going to be a bunny door anymore. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. no. This well, was so maybe expensive. Maybe I could put a back scratcher on it. All right. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Yeah. So it's, now it's, now nice. it's going to just put someone's eye out. That's, yeah. Oh, no. yeah. That's just dangerous. It's a weapon. Yeah, but it has his, his name there I like it. That's cute. So, yeah. Yeah, it's great. It was. All right. Yeah. You've ruined it. Yeah. All right. Let, let's show you. I cannot believe you haven't seen this. No, no. All right. Let's take a look. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Oh, boy. Oh, nope. nope. Oh, God. Oh, almost. Nope. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 But he's got it. 
Someone help him. <laughs> you got it. Someone's helping him. <laughs> All right. You there? Yay. Okay. Oh. He's going to get up, I think. Oh. Oh, All right. No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sandals are hard. Who has it's, not had that problem trying to put sandals that's on? That's why I don't wear them. Yeah. yeah. Well, so I'm glad to see, when you see yeah. that, you did survive. Uh, yeah, tell. right. Yeah. It's, it's a dangerous experience. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, hopefully, we'll get this fixed for you. Oh, and uh, and Brian feels better. And always lovely right. having you here. Likewise, likewise. All Thank right, you. His book, Land of, Story, The Land of Stories, The Enchantress Returns, comes out August 6th. We'll be back with Allison Sweeney. Chris Coulter.